Thank you for taking the time to allow me to introduce you to my workshop on spirituality and gardening. I've always been a passionate gardener, but my passion has grown phenomenally over the last 10 years as I started to connect my experiences in the garden to my experiences of God. Probably 10 years ago now, I started asking people, what makes you feel close to God? And much to my amazement, most of them said some aspect of nature. It could be sitting by a waterfall, it could be walking in the forest, it could be digging in the dirt in their garden. But whatever it was, there was something about being in connection with nature that obviously made people came come to life. And many of them, it was as a spiritual situation. And yet most of them didn't know how to connect what they were experiencing in the practical sense with what they experienced of God. So I developed this workshop to help people make these connections. And as I think about it today, I realize there's no wonder that healing gardens, memory gardens, contemplative gardens uh, have all become very popular over the last few years because I'm not the only one who has found that digging in the dirt is a place in which we connect to God. In this workshop, we're going to talk about a number of different techniques. First of all, we'll take people on a walk through the garden at different seasons and talk about various aspects of the garden that have a tendency to speak to us of God. The compost pile, for example, which is the greatest place of transformation that any of us can ever experience. I still remember the experience of going out and opening my compost bin after it had been sitting for six months and seeing my kitchen refuse, that throwaway stuff, transformed into what gardeners call black gold. And I found that as I share this story that people light up uh, with faith, with hope, with expectation as they think about the different ways that they want God or their understanding of a higher power to transform their lives as well. So we'll talk about the different elements of different seasons that bring about transformation and then we'll talk about some specific practices. Lectio Tierra, uh, basically a, a walk, nature walk with a purpose where people go out, uh, they look around them generally at first and then grab something specific to focus on as a contemplative and re reflective kind of pro practice uh, in relation to um, spiritual their spirituality and in relation to nature as well. We'll talk about painting on rocks, on leaves, on sticks, the kinds of things that many of us love to do, uh, but again, we've really connected to our uh, sense of the presence of God, and yet these two can become very meditative kind of processes, uh, sometimes creating mandalas on rocks, sometimes uh, just creating paths or uh, even doodles on a, a leaf is something that can make an enormous difference to a person's ability to connect uh, to a sense of peace, a sense of um, the presence of the higher power, uh, a sense of the kind of healing that they need for their bodies and for their minds. The third thing we'll talk about is the, the ways that we can stimulate our different senses. One of the things that we did recently was make lavender wands and sage bundles. It's a wonderful tactile kind of process, very simple. Uh, probably not something that is always going to be possible because this is a seasonal kind of thing but we'll talk about how we can use the different sensations of the different seasons again to help connect us to God as uh, a part of the process of this workshop. Uh, we will probably have people painting on rocks, painting on leaves, uh, colouring pictures, uh, creating for themselves. This is going to be a very interactive kind of workshop and one that I think will be a tremendous amount of fun. It's a great way to bring generations together. Nature walks, digging in the dirt, um, all of these aspects are things that bring people from 5 to 80 uh, into 
a very important bonding kind of relationship. It's something that can be good for elder care as well, as memory gardens have been shown to be a way of uh, really stirring the memories and the minds of people with Alzheimer's disease. So I think that this is the kind of workshop that will appeal not just to people of all ages, but to people of many professional backgrounds and many spiritual backgrounds. Um, this is not just focusing on Christian faith. We will talk about Christian faith. We will talk about what I've learnt from Zen Buddhists, what I have learnt from Muslims, what I have learnt from people of many different spiritual traditions and help us to see that um, spirituality and gardening is something that is very much for all of us.